You could probably say military service runs in the family for Vernon Anderson, specifically in the Navy. Anderson's father was in the Naval Reserves for 26 years. As he tells us in tonight's Veterans Voices, when it came time for him to join, there really was no question which branch was for him. I don't know how I could have joined any other branch of the service with my father being an influence on me. I knew all of the Navy terms as a teenager growing up. Vernon Anderson was certainly prepared for what was to come when he enlisted in the Navy in 1969. I had 11 first cousins who served, every one of them in the Navy. His family not only influenced which branch he joined, but what job Anderson did. At the recommendation of his cousin, he went to cryptologic technician school. Our motto was, in God we trust, all others we monitor. Anderson was then stationed in Virginia at a high-frequency direction finding base. Our job was to track all of the Soviet fishing vessels, merchant vessels, submarines, and airplanes. If they launched an airplane, we knew it, and we kept track of where they were and what they were doing. After a few years there, Anderson put in for a position on an aircraft carrier. He was assigned to the Saratoga, which usually ports in Florida, but it was in Vietnam. I knew that I was going to be safe. I never had fear that I was going to die. Anderson did the same job at sea as he had on land, except he was now on a more than 1,000 foot long ship with 5,000 other men. The pilots on the ship would wait for our intelligence briefings to know where to go bomb in Vietnam. They would sit around and wait in the CIC center and we would tell them this is your target. Since he had the highest security clearance the government can give, Anderson was often privy to top secret material, including once a message from Henry Kissinger to President Richard Nixon. No one on my watch was allowed to see that but me. I had a special clearance to take those kind of messages. But then once I accepted it, I had to get it to the president in DC. And it was the middle of the night, and I had to call these stations and say, will you take this message? Well, they wouldn't take it. They didn't want it because they didn't want to have to go wake up the president. Eventually, the Saratoga went back to the United States for an overhaul, and Anderson was discharged. I certainly have no regrets about having to, had to serve. If I was physically capable, I'd go back today. I'd help them if they needed me. Anderson also served an additional two years in the reserves. After leaving the military, he remained involved with organizations like the American Legion and the VFW. Not long ago, he served a term as the state commander for the VFW in West Virginia.